In this video, we will introduce the new OCMIDI Consoles Remote Mobile app. In this video, we will connect an Avonlight Sight and Mobile Console to an iPad using the OCMIDI Consoles Remote app. Of course, the operation is the same with an Android tablet, and the app also works on mobile phones. The console and iPad are connected through a switch. Upon launching the app, it automatically connects to the last console we were connected to and loads the show automatically. The show refreshes automatically at all times. The settings button indicates the connection status with the console. When connected to the console, the settings button is green while it turns orange when there is no connection. If it's the first time using the app, or if you want to connect to another console, press the settings button. The app will automatically detect consoles on the network. To connect to a console, select it from the list. Usually, the app will detect your console, but if not, which may happen in some network configurations, you can enter the IP manually. The main screen of the app is divided into several sections. First, there's a panel with buttons for workspace windows. Groups, colors, positions, beams, playbacks, and macros. There's also a fader panel for controlling faders and swap and flash buttons. For queues or chases, the fader button functions change to stop and go. The fader title is displayed above the buttons. To the left of the fader panel, there are two buttons for moving to the next and previous pages. The faders are categorized into tabs based on their location. There's a tab for the main playbacks section, another one for static playbacks, and another for virtual faders. The next section corresponds to the programmer's keyboard, similar to the one existing on the consoles. Finally, there's a connected playback panel. As a demonstration, we'll select some fixtures adjust their intensity, select color, position, beams, the app highlights selections in green at all times. From the app, we can control the faders just like from the console. As a demonstration, we will select some fixtures from the programmer keyboard and adjust their intensity. The command is displayed in the command line. From the keyboard, we can also locate fixtures. From the playback window, we can use the buttons to activate and stop the configured playbacks in the show. The connected playback panel allows us to connect to a queue list or a chase, displaying its status and the queues it contains. Additionally, the currently running queue is highlighted in blue. To connect to a playback, press the queue button. And then select a queue list or a chase, which can be done from the fader panel or the playback's workspace window. 
For example, if we select a queue list from a fader, the connection is established, and we can see the queue list on the panel. The queues that make it up are displayed and we can control it with the panel buttons. If we want to switch to another queue list, we repeat the process.